हे एवरी वन वेलकम टू गीक्स फॉर गीक्स माई नेम इज चिराग वैष्णव अ स्लो एंड्रॉयड स्टूडियो कैन बी अ रियल पेन फॉर एन एंड्रॉयड डेवलपर डेवलपिंग एन एप्लीकेशन विद अ स्लो आई डी ई इज नॉट अ केक वॉक इट्स रियली अनॉइंग वेन यू जस्ट स्टार्ट फोकसिंग ऑन बिल्डिंग लॉजिक फॉर एप्लीकेशन एंड यू जस्ट गॉट अ किक टू वर्क एंड एट दैट टाइम योर एंड्रॉयड स्टूडियो स्टार्ट लैगिंग बिलीव मी इट्स रियली नॉट अ गुड फीलिंग सो टूडे वी विल ट्राई टू सेटअप एन एंड्रॉयड स्टूडियो लाइक अ चार्म सो दैट वी कैन रन अ स्मूथर डेवलपमेंट एनवायरमेंट which for sure will save a lot of time so let's start with the nine ways to speed up your android studio so the first is disable useless plugins so in an android studio there are a lot of plugins that you are not using and disabling it will free up some space and reduce complex processes to do so the steps are really simple in an android studio open preferences go to plugins and disable all the plugins that you are not using and in this way you can speed up your android studio second is adjust memory settings so in order to go through this the steps are really simple you just need to open android studio and then select appearances and behavior in that go to system settings and in that select the memory setting option so now what you have to do you have to tweak the settings according to your preference increasing a little bit of heap size can help but again too much heap allocation is not a good thing so after you change these settings according to your preference it will reduce a lot of load on your system and as a result android studio will work more smooth third we are having ignore thumb.db which really helps to speed up your android studio so in order to get it up with that the steps are really simple you just need to go to files then settings then editor in that you have to select file types and in field of ignore files and folders add thumb.db and this will help to speed up your android studio fourth is to delete unwanted and unused projects so in order to check this out we have to go to android studio projects folder and in that we can see all the junk applications that we have created somehow but we are not using it the applications that are not needed by us right now we can delete that applications and that deleted applications will reduce will also free up some space so for doing so check the following path that is being displayed on the screen also let me narrate it so go to c drive then go to users folder then go to the folder named after the username of your pc and in that you will find android studio projects so from that you have to find all the junk applications that you are not using right now and delete it so it will reduce a lot of load of your android studio and will make it work more smooth and fast fifth is used ssd so ssd is a solid state driver and is a great product in which you can invest in personally i have used this and till now i consider it as one of the best investments i had okay it not only speeds up your android studio it also enhances the speed of your pc from 2 to 3 times a uh, ssd is for sure faster than hdd which we call hard disk driver so if you are having a pc with low configuration and you want to make your development more smooth and fast you can for sure go for an ssd sixth we are having free up space and cache so cache is a temporary file that system collects in order to make future processes load faster android studio stores cache in a gradle cache form in order to clear the cache for windows and mac the commands are being displayed on the screen so do note it down for your future works and to clear the cache for whole android system you have to open android studio then go to files and select invalidate cache and restart and freeing up all this space and cache really helps seventh we are having single project at a time So this way is pretty straight forward as we have discussed in the starting of the video that Android Studio is a heavy software and so is the build gradle process for building applications in it okay so if we are not having a pc with higher configurations we should not run many applications at the same time and should not run build gradle for two applications at a time and if we are doing so it will result in our pc hanging or lagging So in order to experience a smooth and fast development we should work on a single project at a time. Eight this to run our applications on physical device instead of emulators. So Android Studio provides us with emulators for running our application for development purposes. The emulators provided by them do the same work but they put a lot of pressure on the RAM. They made the Android Studio bulky which results in hanging and lagging of our PC. So instead of that we should use physical devices 
for a smooth development process. So ninth we have is to update Android Studio. So this is really important that Google is consistently trying to make a smoother and faster IDE for development. It's trying to update its algorithm to make Android Studio as fast as it can be. And if you are using an older version, it can be a useful step to use the latest version of Android Studio. So keep your Android Studio up to date. So this was it for today guys. If you are having any doubt regarding whatever I have explained in this video, do ask in the comment section. Also you can refer to a lot of articles on Geeks for Geeks website. So do like this video, subscribe to the channel and thanks for watching.